Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a full face of drugstore products. I have the entire e.l.f. Halo Glow line, including all three of their, well they come in different shades, but I have the blush wand, the contour wand, and then also the highlight wand. I also have the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter, the setting powder, and I believe that's the entire line if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be using all of these in today's video. This is going to be my first time trying these and they're all over TikTok already and all of that but I wanted to try them for myself and see. I already did my skincare so I'm going to go right into the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have mine in the shade 4 Medium um, and I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with it because while I do love like the glow that it gives sometimes, sometimes I feel like it looks more like a Tin Man look which is not really what i'm going for there are different ways that you can wear this you can wear it on its own which is what i'm going to be doing in today's video you can put it apply it underneath products you can go in with the foundation afterwards or you can use it kind of like to highlight certain areas of the face i don't love love wearing it on its own mainly because i feel like it emphasizes texture just because it has like this metallic -y finish to it versus if i have more of a satiny matte finish i feel like that kind of uh, reduces the look of texture more than anything i feel like with tiktok and all the reviews of charlotte tilbury the whole like glowy look like this really took off so all these brands started coming out with their own versions so i also have the maybelline four in one perfector which i actually like more than the elf one i feel like it's a little bit less metallic -y. And then recently I purchased the Kosas uh, Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. And this one I feel like is very similar to the e.l.f. one. It's pretty metallic-y. So out of all three of these, I would say probably the Maybelline one is my favorite. But let me go ahead and swatch all of these so you can kind of compare. So this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. They're going to be in different shades, so keep that in mind. They're not all exactly the same shade. This is going to be the Maybelline one. Actually, they're all kind of the same shade. They're all kind of like a medium, medium type finish. So this is the e.l.f. one, and I'm going to try to blend it out. It's pretty thick, I will say. The Maybelline one isn't as thick. The e.l.f. one kind of feels a little bit thicker and tackier, almost like gluey. And this one feels more sheer. Sorry, somebody's mowing the grass, and I have the window open, so you could probably hear it. And then the Kosas one, I would say, is similar to here. Let me grab a little bit more. I'm also using different fingers to blend them out just so that I don't mix the colors. The Kosas one is also more towards the Maybelline one. It's a little bit more sheer. Not sheer. They're still, they're not like super sheer, but it's not as thick as the e.l.f. one. So I would say the e.l.f. one probably is the thickest. For Kosas, I grabbed their sheer medium golden. So all of these are kind of like medium toned shades. I would say the Kosas one is probably the most glittery and metallic. Honestly, the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector, in my opinion, is the most natural. Like, it still gives you that glow, but it's not so much a metallic -y glow. I would say the Kosas is probably the most metallic -y, and then the e.l.f. one's probably next in line. So depending on what you're looking for, you'll probably choose something different. But these are just kind of like side-by-side -side swatch comparisons for anybody interested. I almost feel like the e.l.f. one, because it's thicker, it's a little bit harder to blend out. Maybe it's just me, but like you gotta kind of like really work to blend it out. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I have, like I said, I have like a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I'm like, no, this is definitely not working for me. Once I add my concealer and powder and everything, um, everything kind of like balances out. So bear with me here, but I'm gonna move on to concealer. And for co concealer, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me, and I have mine in shade vanilla. I went ahead and closed the window because I have a feeling that when I'm editing that first portion of the video, I'm going to be so mad at myself for not closing it sooner because there's just so much noise. So many people decided to mow their lawn, I guess. Um, but I went ahead and applied concealer in areas where I'm going to conceal and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with this Enzo Ken brush that I got on Amazon. And I like using the concealer brush because it kind of gives more coverage versus a sponge because I do have the e.l.f. Uh, camo concealer sponge here, which I absolutely love. It's so great for blending out concealer in the inner corner And already I'm seeing like a lot of texture showing up on my forehead like I have a few breakouts and things like that like little bumps and This is one of the reasons why I'm not crazy about the elf halo glow or similar products is because I feel like they really emphasize any texture especially if you have more mature skin before I go ahead and set my face I'm gonna try the new elf 
halo glow wands here i have the blush in shade rose you slay the highlight in shade champagne campaign and then the contour in shade light medium and again i'm sure everybody and their mom has seen these all over tiktok and instagram wherever social media but i just wanted to try them for myself i think the most satisfying part is watching the product come out on like a brand new sponge okay so i don't know how much is too much I'm gonna start off with a little bit. I'll do like, oh, that's not too bad. Two dots. Automatically, I can see that the blush has a little bit of shimmer, what seems to be shimmer. I think I might need a little bit more. Ooh, maybe that's too much. I don't know. Ooh, probably too much. Let me go ahead and try blending that out. So it seems very sheeny which fits the name, I guess. It's, they are called Elf Halo Glow Wands. And I definitely feel like that's more than I would usually apply work with me here. I will blend it out. <laughs> it will all work out in the end. Okay. Okay, on camera it doesn't look so bad, but I feel like in person it looks very pigmented. Uh, very easy to blend out. Like it doesn't seem, the blush doesn't seem splotchy by any means. It's not even showing up as well on camera. Like it seems super, she super sheer on camera. In person I feel like it's definitely more visible like the color is showing off a lot more in person i'm going to move on to the contour okay i'm going to do a few dots i like this shade color like from first impressions it seems like it has pretty nice like it's not too warm tone on orange which i like and i'm going to use the haley's brush that i usually Ooh. oh okay <laughs> whoa yeah i feel like i just ruined my entire makeup look Okay, but it's blending out nicely. But OMG, yeah, definitely very pigmented in my opinion. It doesn't dry down too fast, so I have time to kind of blend it out, so I like that. But wow, I don't know what happened on that cheek that this cheek, okay, we, we have to fix this. This is like a disaster. But I would say start off small and then work your way up once you kind of get a feel for the product on your face. I do look like a glowy goddess, so I love that. I am gonna fix it with some setting powder. I feel like setting powder is always a great way to fix a makeup look that might be looking a little bit crazy. Moving on to the highlighter. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of this onto areas where I usually highlight. I'm just gonna blend this out with my fingers. This one seems like it maybe dries down a little bit faster than the contour shade. The contour shade seems like it's more watery maybe. I don't know. I'm just talking from like the top of my head from first impressions. But I'm going to go ahead and fix everything using the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. And this setting powder I actually really like because it doesn't exactly mattify everything. It sets it, but it adds like a nice subtle sheen. The way that I swatched it, it's kind of hard to show, but... It adds a very nice subtle sheen and then this is the highlight the contour and the blush so I'm gonna start off with the cheeks and I'm gonna chisel that a little bit and let it sit there and I'm using a lot because I kind of want to fix any muddiness that might be going on and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I'm gonna use whatever's left over on my under eye because I have pretty dry under eyes so I don't want to use too much and then also my forehead okay I feel like that's looking a lot better already. I'm going to use this bronzing brush that I have to kind of go over everything and get rid of the excess powder. Alright, I feel like that looks a lot better. I feel like, you know, it's looking pretty good, very giving off like very glowy goddess type vibes overall. So overall, I'm actually very happy with the products from First Impressions. I feel like there's like a little bit of patchiness going on here. You see that? But I usually a lot of times have issues with that. Um, with certain products. This side is looking a little bit better. The blush, I'm not really even seeing the blush anymore and I feel like that was the most prominent thing. So let me apply a little bit more blush on top even though I already did powder. I feel like the contour took over the blush. I'm not a makeup professional. I just kind of have like a certain way I like my makeup to look. So I don't exactly have like rules that I follow. All right, I feel like you can see the blush a little bit more. So I'm gonna do my brows now and I have the NYX. I love NYX for brow products. They have some of the best brow products in my opinion. I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in color Cool Ash Brown, which I love because it has 
like zero warm tones to it at all so if you don't like warm tones to your brows you will love their shade cool ash brown um, it works for blondes i would say and then also for brunettes i just have to be a little bit more light-handed My camera died as I was doing my brows, but this is what the shade looks like on me. I don't know, I really like it. And now I'm going to go ahead and set it. I love the brow glue from NYX. I think it's really great. It kind of wears off throughout the day in the sense that your brows start to fall a little bit. Um, and I also have the Thick It Stick It, which kind of has like little fibers in it. I don't know, this one I'm not crazy about. I'm not really crazy about like the fiber ones. But I heard really great things about it. I just thought I'd mention it because I did try it since so many people have said great things. I just wasn't crazy about it. This one I like because it kind of gives you that brow lamination look. But you have to be careful because if you swipe too hard, you might remove product underneath. And then what I'll do is kind of like press them down against my skin. And I do this throughout the day because then they start to lift. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with a lip oil. These two are my current drugstore favorites. There's the NYX lip oil here. The shade is called That's Chic. And then the Clean Yummy Gloss. Absolutely love this. I think this is called Acai You Later. Yeah, this one's Acai You Later. And they're both kind of like a purpley color. They look like they're going to be super purple and dark, but they're actually not. They're nice and they're pretty sheer. I have like all these swatches on my hand. Let me swatch it right here. So this one's the NYX lip oil here. I don't know, I've just been loving keeping them in my purse and kind of applying them throughout the day. I feel like lip oils are also having a moment this year. And then this is the Clean Girl Yummy one. I feel like this one's a little bit more sheer, whereas the NYX one deposits a little bit more color. I can see why they call it Yummy Gloss because it smells so yummy. But I believe that concludes my entire drugstore makeup look. So overall, pretty happy with it um the wands again i'm gonna have to keep like playing around with them and see i feel like wands are having a moment this year with like the little um poofy tip of sorts this is what it looks like up close and personal i don't know i like it like my brows are not having their best day today overall i feel like this video is going to be all over the place in terms of like noise outside <laughs> swatches and everything but I just wanted to share a full flip, full face of drugstore makeup because the drugstore does have really great finds. And I also wanted to share my take on the viral e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands here. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Thanks so much for hanging out and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.